Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel Physio Made Simple. In this channel, I will be uploading videos on various topics in human physiology in an extremely simple way. That's why I named my channel as Physio Made Simple. To be very frank, it is an extremely simple and interesting subject and I hope you all will enjoy the videos and at the same time in one way or the other my channel and my topics which I'll be uploading through various PPT videos will be helpful. So thank you once again for subscribing my channel and so let's begin. So first of all, what is physiology? Physiology is the study of functions and processes that create life. So physiology is actually of many types. Like there is human physiology, which is the main subject we are dealing here. Then comes animal physiology then comes plant physiology etc. So human physiology as the name indicates it deals with uh, the functions and processes taking place in the human body. Animal physiology deals with the same in the case of animals and plant physiology in the case of plants. So in this channel I'll be talking about the human physiology. Okay, so let's continue. So it is a branch of biology that deals with the functions and activities of life. It's very simple. It includes the functions and actions of cells, tissues and organs, their biological components and their role in making life possible. So in this subject, we'll be dealing with various systems or from their basic structures called cells and their functions and what are the processes taking place that helps to stabilize life. So first of all, we'll go into a brief history. We should know what is the history of physiology, how it came up like that. So just a flashback to the starting point. So study of physiology can be tracked back at least 420 BC. That is very long back itself. The study of physiology has started and it was actually Hippocrates, the father of medicine, who is the main person behind the study. So I hope you all know this person. Then he coined the theory of four humors, which says that there are four body fluids, black bile, phlegm, blood, and yellow bile. Black bile is actually once believed to be secreted by kidneys and spleen, sorry, kidneys or spleen, to cause sadness and melancholy. It was believed like that back in the old days. Black bile was believed to be secreted by the kidneys or spleen and they said that it has got some role in controlling our emotions. So one study says that it also supports the hairs and nails gives strength the body parts and the lack or deficiency of black bile may lead to dysfunction of the bones and tendon and even lead to osteoporosis which is a bone disorder like that. Then phlegm is a type of mucus. Mucus means it is a very sticky like uh, substance which is produced by the respiratory system. Then blood 
I know every one of you know what is blood. Okay, so that is the other body fluid, and the last one is yellow bile, which is produced by the liver. Then he said, that is Hippocrates said that disturbance in their ratio causes ill health. So if there is any problem with any of these body fluids or if there is any mismatch between these body fluids it will surely lead to some sort of ill health then it was jean fernel who introduced the term physiology which means study of nature or origins so this is about history and it's not just these two names that comes up in physiology. There are lots and lots of names related to physiology, but we can't include everything in this small area. So what are the biological systems in human physiology or what are the systems we are going to deal with? So the sim single picture includes all the systems. So first one comes the endocrine system. Endocrine system means it is or it deals with the hormones that control various functions in our body. The reproductive system, that system, the system that gives rise to the next generation. Then immune system that helps in defense against various disorders then urinary system the or the excretory system then integumentary system that deals with the skin then nervous system that is the main controlling power in our body musculoskeletal system that deals with the muscles and bones that helps in movement of our body circulatory system that deals with blood heart as the pumping organ, the arteries, arterioles and uh, the various other blood vessels, respiratory system that deals with respiration that is taking enough oxygen and giving out a carbon dioxide, gastrointestinal system that deals with the digestion of the food materials that we are ingesting. So these are the various systems or the biological systems in our body. Again, once again, giving the same topics. So these are the various systems we are going to deal with in the subject human physiology. So this much about the introduction part and we'll deal with or we'll enter into various systems, biological systems in the upcoming videos. So. Thank you for time being and see you in the next class.